You know what's great? Video games. You know what else is great? Wrestling. You know what's fantastic? Wrestling video games. Maybe we'll talk about that over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. The Wrestling Mayhem Show, that's right, it's another show. Brought to you by the fine folks at Sorgatron Media. Go and check it out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You'll love it. I probably promise. Welcome everybody to Let's Play. Joining us tonight, as always, it's Sorgatron. You can find him at Sorgatron. How you doing, Sorg? I'm doing great. All right. <laughs> what? Bobby is here. here. Hey, you know who else is here? Chachi's here. <laughs> what? There you go. Oh, and my he God. was all like, what? And then he's all like, there's the Riz. And I'm like, what? I'm calling Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy, come in, Dick Tracy. <laughs> Hey now, we're getting time. Let's talk it over to Bobby of J Town. So, Bobby what's up? Let's talk about some video Bobby. games. Oh, man. Hi. Well, I guess we can talk about what we played. That's and a- one of those things we played was Riz Dick Tracy, which was I our challenge know. this week. I did not play uh, Dick Tracy. I forgot to. I'm sorry. I was I was oh. on the road. Was uh, I the only one to play Dick Tracy? I was on the road. No, but I do have it in my hands. <laughs> I refused to play Dick it's Tracy. It's probably a bad idea. It was. I a mean, bad I idea. can tell you exactly what the recollection was. I think I did last week. So, but we'll yeah. get to that a little later. Mm-hmm. Um, guys, what did you play this week? I I decided again. This is my second week doing so of. Buying something from a Steam sale. Ooh. From a Steam. Is there still but, a Steam sale? No. But this is a free game, so it's all it's all good. Uh, DC Universe Online was, ah. was pretty good. Uh, I played Marvel Heroes before. This blows it out of the water. Also uh, free on PS3. Hmm? Also free on PS3. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's one of those games where you can create your own superhero, and El Luchador will kill everything, <laughs> of course. Uh, but yeah, I've been playing that. I've been playing what's the phrase? Uh, multiple. Cool. And we lost them. Bobby, go continue while I try and get them back. Okay, I played, um, of course, Marvel Avengers Alliance. Um, I played Simpsons Tapped Out. I was in Ohio all weekend, but I didn't get to play any video games, only on my 3DS, which was Ocarina of Time and Mario Kart 7. Um, I bought a Retron, which I uh, played um, Super Mario World, Excite Bike, Donkey Kong Country, and Battletoads. Um, I couldn't get the SNES or the, the Genesis to work. To work. Really? Um, yeah. It, for some reason, either the games are, are broken, or I had Royal Rumble Raw, Raw and um, Sonic and Knuckles, and none of them worked. That so, sucks. but yeah, but I, I and I also pl- uh, got a streaming device for my uh, for Let's Play or for the uh, Insert Coin to Begin uh, Child's Play event, um, and I streamed Skyrim to test it out, and I also streamed a bit of. No wait, Skyrim was the only thing I streamed. So cool. Are you, so I tested just, it out. Are you just streaming them? Are you capturing anything for YouTube or anything yet? Um, I'm gonna try to. Okay. Uh, capture stuff. Now you can. But I didn't. I didn't test that yet. But now you can. You can just have it like record straight to YouTube, right? I think so. so yeah. There's a capture and and, and to live stream just to Twitch. To Twitch. Good. Good. So, yeah. I did notice. Um, at, on a side note from that, I did notice that uh, they added Twitch support to Wirecast. So the setup we do here in the studio, which by you know, which is usually what I bring to like Chachi plays, uh, that we do, uh, will actually broadcast straight to Twitch. I've never tested it or anything, but it's kind of cool nice. that we do have at least here in the studio software we could potentially do this with. Um, <laughs> so maybe there'll be some ideas uh, in the future. So if you guys can rack your brain around that, email me. Email me the one you bought, Bobby. Okay, so I, can take I will do that. I, I bought the Elgato as the Elgato. one I got. So it, it's fancy. But um, yeah, and I also played Dick Tracy, which <laughs> we'll get to that more later. Exactly. I'll try to get there. We're, uh, I think I about got the Riz back, so uh, if you want to go back around. Oh, by the way, uh, don't call on me because I was in Michigan all weekend, and <laughs> that just did not lend itself to video games. I was really driving, setting up, shooting, or eating for three days straight. So, yeah, yeah. Um, 
So yeah, uh, Riz, I think you're back. I know you were talking to DC uh, game oh. here. I'm sorry about that. It looks like we had that dropout that we've been having lately. Oh, that's okay. Um, but yeah, DC Universe is a pretty cool game. And if you want to play it, it is on Steam and it is for free. Nice. There are there are packs on there that you can buy. We're we're, gonna, we're actually going to get into this in the boss battle actually. So keep tu- stay tuned. All right. All right. Um, Chachi, what what did you play? Uh, Marvel's Avengers Alliance, um, no. which I've noticed that. Uh, no. I, I, Yay. I, if, no, I, at first I, I thought I had picked which version I liked better, mm-hmm. and then I realized that each version has something different that I like better than the other <coughs> version. Yeah, exactly. Um, so between the iPhone and <laughs> Facebook, I, I, I have two separate games going on there, <laughs> um, and it, it works out pretty well. Um, last week I also mentioned that I downloaded uh, Assassin's Creed 2, for uh, free for gold, um, mm-hmm. and found out I... found out that it takes eighteen hours to beat gameplay. Wow! Um, mm. <laughs> Through practice, I yeah, well no, I beat it. Yeah. Um, so I downloaded it. I beat it. I started playing Fable Three, and it's just weird. Um, yeah, Fable Three is kind of uh, not then, as good as Fable Two. And uh, Candy Crush and like Plants vs Zombies and other small stuff like that. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, it's time to talk about Dick Tracy for a little bit. Um, I'll just since I was the only one playing, I'll just give you my experience. Um, try to ma- slam your head against the wall. Um, that's about how Dick Tracy feels to play. I said that uh, Silver Surfer was a hard game last week. Dick Tracy takes the cake. I couldn't figure out what to do. Really? Well, I, what? I, 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 I have no idea how well, to play the game. I recall. Hold on, I'm going to throw up some gameplay here, so we can kind of. Uh, and, and this Dick Tracy for the NES is not the Genesis version. Yeah, I think the, the Genesis version. version was a little more more of a side scroller. Uh, in this case, I remember you drive around in the car. Uh, yeah. You have to look for clues. Uh, I, I think. I think in this case, you're. I think you're picking which one to go after. And you yeah. see, it's hit the streets, there's no pads, so you're driving around, which is kind of interesting in its own right. So I'm People very... shoot at you, and you can't shoot back at them. It's yeah, very yeah, difficult to shoot back at them. Uh, as far as in the car? Yeah. Can't you, like, you can get shoot. A... Can't yeah, you, you can shoot, shoot but, you the car, can't... but you can't aim towards the thing. That's right, you can get vehicle, out of the like... car, then you yeah, go that's in. The... Yeah, that's the... Then you have these side scrolling things. With by the way, the animation on on Dick Tracy walking there is pretty damn good for an NES game. Oh, Can yeah. I mention there? That, that's yeah. pretty sweet. So you go yeah, in here, then you get you get a punching glove, which I think you can like throw the punching glove once. Yeah. Um, these guys, oh, here they are, and you got to punch them at the right time. And you see, they, I don't know why they they're 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 sliding across the floor. Um, the guys um, with the guns were just the worst. Yeah, then it's like, like what are they doing? Yeah. They're like, oh, that's Super Punch. Oh, that's yeah, that's that right. They can take out was. other guys when you do that. That's right. And then, but you have like ten of them. And then, <laughs> like, I don't know okay. how. Who, who does that in real life? Well, who gets punched know. and then like? It's a video game. Team. Mumbles. Mumbles. <laughs> Apparently, Mumbles does that. So the idea is, you right. go through this and you 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 pick up clues and go from place to place, and you're trying to locate. And it tells you to go to these different spots, and then they're like nine and F, like they're kind of like blocks or something. Like I remember, I would always maybe get to this point in the game, and that's where I would always die for good. You know, and you only have so many lives. The the only way you can beat this game is game genie. Dude, seriously, seriously, <laughs> it, again, just like that idea that we had with uh, Silver Surfer, the game got fun when you started plugging in some stuff to make it a little <laughs> bit easier on game genie. Not like the unlimited yeah. lives or anything like that, but just the hey. Maybe I don't get killed so quickly, ones, you know, I, or, or or something. It, it's like that's the point. Like I could I could get aside the side scroller BS and actually get to finding the clues. You know what I, I mean? I promise, no huh? hard games for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so that, I, I I don't know. It, it was it wasn't the worst game on the NES by any means, but it was definitely was not very good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it wasn't the best by any means, right? So yeah. I'd, I'd rate Silver Surfer a little bit above it. Mm-hmm. So. Well, the difference is Silver Surfer was actually a good game. It was oh, yeah, hard. yeah. It was a good game. Mm-hmm. Dick Tracy wasn't a good game. No. <laughs> no. 
Not it, at all. It was like too high level of a concept for the NES. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, great idea, horrible execution. Yeah. So, so. there you go. All right. Um, it's time for this uh, segment on the show called Things You May You Should Be Made Aware Of. Mm-hmm. Um, do you guys remember Last of Us, the game that I was obsessed with? Yeah. Yes. Somebody made it adorable. What? Yeah, they made somebody made these like little like all things that are like cute. Wow. But, yeah. Um. Uh, huh. a, a girl on DeviantArt made them, I think. That's cool. Or an artist on DeviantArt. Um, that's you can that's see, creepy. Yeah, they're they're a little bit creepy, but they're they're kind of cute. So yeah. No, I, said, I don't know creepy. if they're available to buy yet, but um, it's just something neat that somebody see, did. This is like an Etsy thing or something. It's yeah, I think it's, it's somebody on DeviantArt made oh, it. Oh, I see. Um, so I don't know if they're available to purchase as of yet, but yeah, that's cool though. Kind of a neat, neat idea, neat concept. Mm-hmm. Um, but something that is available to purchase that you should be made aware of. Two things at ThinkGeek. Mm-hmm. Okay. There is a Space Invaders ice cube tray. Okay, oh, that's cool. Available for nine ninety nine. Kind of want that. Kind of want that. pretty awesome. Okay. It's like the it's like it's the same substance that they used for the uh, Han Solo and Carbonite ice cubes that they okay. have, which I have. The, those are awesome. Cool. Um, and Tetris cookie cutters. Nice. Both available for nine ninety nine. That's awesome. Thinking. Okay, so. I can I can deal with the uh, the Tetris cookie color cutters, mm-hmm. um, but other than the Han Solo and Carbonite, I I don't really dig this whole. Uh, ice cube trays. Uh, yeah, ice cube trays shaped like other things. Well, for for the Doctor Who fans out there, there's TARDIS and uh, Dalek ones too now. Well, it, it's just it, you don't like the cookies, all right? The cookies you get a little bit more time enjoyment out of, right? But the ice, it no one's going to see it. It's just going in your glass in your beverage. Yeah, and sure. then it melts. Yeah, floating around in your beverage. Yeah. They're, they're, they're good party things. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah, that's like great them. for a party. Plus, you can put like food coloring in there yeah. and like yeah. make little weird things. You're I'm not like, thinking, but, but 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 yeah, that's stupid. You're not thinking party <laughs> Sorry, dimensionally, it, Chachi. It, it only it will only last a few seconds before everything melts. Yeah, and it's like, hey, the, no. Then you have, if you do what I said, you have a water filled with purple, red, yellow dye. Food coloring, and it looks horrible. Another so, yeah, cool one no. that my friend has is a Titanic ice cube tray <laughs> that has like <laughs> mini Titanics, which that's is cool, awesome. and icebergs. That's awesome. <laughs> so, all right, uh, moving on to our news segment. Um, mm-hmm. Guys, Bioshock Infinite has DLC. What? They announced it today. Cool. Two nice. DLC things have been announced so far. One of them came out today. Uh, which is called Clash in the Clouds, which is kind of like Horde mode in um, only it's single player Horde mode. Um, you basically go through and just face all sorts of waves of uh, the soldiers and stuff like that, from like the firemen, uh, the handymen, stuff like that. So that's that seems kind of cool. And I think they said you can unlock weapons as you go. But the big news was the Burial at Sea DLC, which uh, it, Swords playing the video right now, the trailer. It's set in Rapture. Uh-huh. Um, but in Rapture in 1958, when it was still a place where people lived. Oh, dude. Mm. But it stars Booker as a private investigator. And you can switch in between playing as Booker and Elizabeth. What? Yeah, you can play as Elizabeth finally. So does, this is going to be pretty does, cool. Will it, Booker it, give you things? Is it bad I that I want to buy a game just to play the DLC? No, not at all, Sorg. It's, it's, <laughs> because it's, I'm kind of interested. No, in that. I well, did, I did that and I'm, I'm excited. No, no, no okay. So, so, Assassin's Creed Three. I kind of want to get through the point. I'm trying to get through the game just so I can go buy the Madness of King George stuff. Yeah. So <laughs> mine's out on loan right now, but as soon as I get it back, mm-hmm. that's my plan. It's good doing. Yeah. yeah. King mm-hmm. George. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I did that. I did that once when I saw Saints Row the Third, mm-hmm. and I saw Genki Bull. Come, mm-hmm. come on, and I saw videos about that, mm-hmm. and I immediately picked up the game just so I can play Genki Bull, and I was hooked from the start. So, and I'm probably going to pick up, you know, Saints Row Four. 
So, yeah. Well, speaking of Saints Row, uh, Humble Bumble, Humble, Humble Bumble, Humble Bumble. No, I like the way you said it. I like the way you put that. Humble Bundle released a new bundle. It's the Deep Silver Bundle. Mm-hmm. Um, from Steam, uh, if you pay more than $25, you get Saints Row the Third, Sh- nice. Saints Row 2, Risen 2, Sacred 2. And then beating the average uh, gets you uh, Saints Row the Third, the full package, Dead Island Game of the Year edition, and uh, going above and beyond uh, the average, you get Dead Island Riptide. Yeah. Wow. Well, over twenty five dollars is uh, Dead Island Riptide. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's awesome. Um, I I actually and, and it's all Windows, and you have to you have to have Windows and Steam basically. Yeah. This it, it, when this one is Windows and Steam, and uh, as always, it goes to charity. Yes. So I mean, I dropped ten bucks, and I got everything except for Riptide. So I, I that's typically it. If I see this come up, I throw ten bucks at it and get whatever that gets me. Like I'm like <laughs> good good deal, help and charity. Here you go. Here's a few more games on my Steam account I probably won't ever get to. Uh, but but still, I, I hear great things from you guys for Saints Row, so at least I know mm-hmm. I can get a chance and, like, hey, maybe I can play that if I get the opportunity here someday. The you know? thing is, with Saints Row, it has to start with the third. Because from what I heard, and I played Saints Row second, and I kind of agree with them, Saints Row 1 and 2 are copycats of Call of Duty more more than Saints Row the third is, which is it's more of its game. own entity. Okay. So... If you want to start, start with Saints Row to Third. All right. All also, right. uh, Sorg and I discovered before the show um, that Video Game High School Season 2 Episode 1 is available on YouTube now. Yes. Oh, nice. um, if you haven't watched Video Game High School and you're listening to the show, you fail as a human being. It's on Netflix, I believe. <laughs> yeah, it's on Netflix or YouTube. Like the entire or, or first season. Loot or Loot Crate. Yeah, or yeah, Loot or Crate. Yeah, or Loot Crate. Um, uh, yeah, I think they took the entire first season and made a movie out of yeah, it. They and just, that's what you see yeah, on the DVD on Loot Crate on, on Netflix. So edited it all up. together so you don't get the intro and the credits in each episode. Mm-hmm. I think they were only 10 minute episodes and they actually upgraded to half hour episodes yeah, this season. Yeah, this season is, really is cool. actually no half problem. hour and it's a uh, it's an awesome improvement on all fronts mm-hmm. um, as far as the show goes. So cool. go watch it. It's free. It's part of YouTube's Geek Week. Um, so, yes. Which is this week, correct? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. And that, I think you go to for the Geek Week. I'll go ahead and with your next thing, Bobby, and I'll see if I can find that link. Okay, um, our next thing is other DLC news. Um, Injustice just got some new DLC mm-hmm. today. Um, Ma- Ma- Martian Manhunter is now available for download, but That's at good. a price. Keep going. Uh, it Keep is going. not available with the season pass. That's bad. What? That's it's bad. That $5 is bad. or 400 Microsoft points, whichever, if you're on PlayStation or, or um, Xbox. Yeah, he's not in the season pass. The first I four mean, characters were, which were Lobo, um, Zod, who else? And, Zod, and, uh, Batgirl, Batgirl, you can't and it up like that. Uh, Scorpion. You really Scorpion, can't change yeah. it up like that. that that's How, I don't. I don't get. I don't get why. I I I bought the season pass for this game because mm-hmm. I wanted to play as the superheroes as they come out. I well, Batgirl instead of Batgirl, um, but. You're telling me that you can't put the Martian Manhunter on that DLC, on that platform of Season Pass. I want to play that, and I bought a Season Pass because everybody bought a Season Pass because of the DLC that's coming out. I think they They'd- violated the sancti- sanctity of Season Marriage. Pass. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, and marriage. You you buy a season pass because you want all of the DLC that comes out for that game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, well. The failure this is the to. Second, what's that? This is the second DLC uh, season pass debacle that I've heard this week. Uh, Saints Row Four. Saints Row Fourth actually pissed me off this week. Okay. Because they are, they they are still selling a season pass. But their DLC will come discount a uh, discount instead of a free free stuff. What? Then what? Uh, wow. Wait, wait, wait. So are you are you making out uh, better if you buy that and buy then buy it? Like no. How does that work? No, no. Have you no. done the math on this? I did not because I don't do math. Hmm. 
Um, <laughs> but, good good answer. answer. Good answer. I, I, no, no, good answer. Good answer. <laughs> but still, it's not right when, when, you, when you buy a season pass, yeah. you should get a season worth of crap. Yeah. You should be getting DLC. You should be getting unlockable characters. You should be getting cool things. Mm-hmm. Well, the whole Free. purpose the whole purpose of buying a season pass is because when the game came out, you said, you know what? I want everything that comes out for this game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you pay double price for the game, give or take. I mean, just about. For the Call of Duty, I did. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, you were you were 10 bucks off of buying the game again for all the yeah. DLC. Yeah, I did. And, and I did put it down, you know. Right. Um, it, 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 yeah, and if I found out that there was a map pack above and beyond the season pass, or we're still waiting on the rest of the season pass, and like, hey, here's some extra levels, da 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 I don't have a problem with the micro gun tra- and skin transactions. I have no problem with that. That that. Feels like that's, that's, some, that's something else. Yeah. The that's season different. pass was you get maps, you get new game modes for like yeah, you, or you know, and maybe they'll throw in a gun, right? right? For the life okay, of the game, okay, that's fine. Now, what was the what was the language when you bought a season pass? You get every you get all this for free. Mm-hmm. You get like well, for, the, for for the price you paid for it. For injustice, I bought the season pass for injustice. Yeah, and I got. Four, five five new characters, which I'm satisfied of. Okay. Somewhat satisfied. Does it, did it just say you'll get five new characters, or does it, does it say you'll get all the future DLC? I thought it said all the future DLC. Yeah. And that's what I why I bought it, because there are superheroes on here mm. that are not on here yeah. that I want to play as. Yeah. And if Injustice didn't want to do that, they should have just said, hey... We're not going to do a season pass. Yeah. I That's feel it. like, I also feel like, um, I think I saw WWE 12 do something similar. Like, I thought oh. I saw a season pass that didn't include everybody. Like, when they added Bros Clay, like, way later in the uh, in the process. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I, I could be wrong. That was, I mean, it was WWE 12 that was like a couple years ago. So. Well, technically, mm-hmm. on most games, mm-hmm. um, and it depends on the developer, mm-hmm. but season pass only... It, Last like a year, yeah. Well, but this game exactly. That's exactly what Borderlands did. Because I mean, if you mm-hmm. look at uh, all of the EA games, yeah, all of the EA games, it's one year. Mm-hmm. So you get everything that comes out in that in year. In that year, and if I buy the season but, pass later, I get that like specifically, boom, boom, boom. Right, but yeah. I, but I, the difference between that and something like Injustice mm-hmm. is the life, the shelf life of. An EA Sports game mm-hmm. is one year. Yeah, mm-hmm. true. And and the same thing goes with like Call of Duty. Yeah, it, I mean uh, the the shelf life of that game is pr- pretty much yeah. one year. Yeah, because while you may like the game more than the next one that comes out, mm-hmm. doesn't really Generally, matter because they're, they're the focus. new one. Yeah. yeah, the new one is the focus. Mm-hmm. And, and Treyarch and uh, Infi- Infinity Ward may treat it differently because they, they're two different companies. Yeah. But, uh, and also, uh, well, I feel like since they're under Activision, they're all going under the same right. kind of thing. The season pass system seems pretty much the same. Uh, Brother Sorg says that the Saints Row season pass does say it would only include the three expansions, Riz. Hmm. So, but it says, but it also, oh, Saints Row 3 did say that? Yes. All right. But the, I'm talking about Saints Row the Saints Row Four, which is which isn't doing anything for free, mm-hmm. they're doing discounts, which is no. Yeah, the off. discounts is weird. The discounts. Yeah, is, the discount is weird. Is weird. Never. I didn't. I'd never experienced discounts before, mm-hmm. and I don't think I will yeah. ever again. Yeah, I, that's an odd situation there. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, enough on that. We, we'll, we'll probably. I imagine there'll be a few articles from us over the coming weeks as these these develop. So. But it, I mean, also you're 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 reaching the end of the, the season pass era yeah. anyhow. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Because I think it was only short time. It, 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 because I mean, quite frankly, the fact that these companies had season passes to begin with, mm-hmm. is shocking. Considering the amount of money that they could have gotten had they not do a season pass. Mm-hmm. Well, it's the it's the deal motivation though. You right, know? but they're still getting 
they would still end up with more money. Yeah. Because the people who bought the season pass yeah. are the people who are going to buy the DLC anyhow. Yeah, right. but it, it's still... I, I And I wonder how many they're selling anyways, but I mean, the, it, it's a difference between, oh, I'll see what comes out. I'm not even sure if I'll like what comes out versus I want everything that has to do with this game because I love this game. And mm-hmm. I think you buy into that and, and it helps entice those people to buy it. For So I just paid... Almost like I think you saved ten bucks with the season pass for Call yeah. of Duty, right? So by now, how much am I playing Call of Duty? Do you really think I would have bought the next two expansion packs? I didn't, but that's why I didn't you buy, haven't. That's why I didn't buy the uh, the but season pass. I, but you know, I still that they come out and I jump into the game again for a little bit, and that's fine. I got my you know you know ten fifteen bucks worth out of it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, sure. But but if I didn't buy that season pass, I probably wouldn't have bothered. You didn't. Well, that's you know? because I'm not. I'm not playing the game as much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I I have beaten Call of Duty to the point where there's nothing to beat. Exactly. <laughs> so, as far as but I'm that, concerned, but that's different levels of gamers, they, and they're trying to hit everybody. That's why they offer different options for the season passes and everything. Yeah. All uh, right. Well, going going back to the um the the Borderlands Two DLC. Yeah. Like they they specifically said they're going to have four or five DLC content. That, that and they they have delivered. They they've given us like really, four really good DLC um, downloads, and now they're saying since the, the the five they promised us are done, they're actually going to release more DLC for Borderlands Two mm-hmm. when everybody thought it was over. So mm-hmm. I'd rather have them give us five good ones or four good ones or whatever than just like three characters or whatever, four characters, and just then charge us more for characters yeah. rather than just parts of the game, you yeah. know? And they're, so I'd they're, be willing to pay more for and parts they're doing, of the game. I mean, they're, they're trying different things. You're, you're kind of seeing mm-hmm. different models. You know, obviously, they'll hey, somebody tried that discount model, right? And we'll yeah. see how that works. And if they keep doing it, then we see how well that worked for those guys. Um, hey, I wanted to say, uh, uh, Geek Weeks actually starts on the 4th, so that's next week. I think we just oh, kind of okay. stumbled on that when we were playing with the YouTube app on Xbox. Uh, um, I thought it was this week. What's that? I thought it was this yeah, week. Yeah, I just pulled up. Uh, and actually, if you go to YouTube.com slash YouTube, yep, uh, that's, <laughs> where, that's where there's a trailer for that and information, so you can go check it out there. Um, Bobby, I think it's time. For the boss battle? For the boss battle. I think it is, too. Dude, our freemium games... The new arcade. Sorg, I think you can explain this. Well, there was a talk today about how well, well, the story came out that uh, for whatever period here, um, I'm sorry, I just got a tweet that says Quidditch is greater than rugby. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, That's me antagonizing Chris. Yes, I see this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, anyways, um, there was uh, an article that came out. Apparently, Electronic Arts, um, and I don't know if this is the quarter, for the quarter or the year, uh, but they this, they said that the money they made off of uh, I, off the App Store off of uh, iOS App Store was more than they made from Origin, their own digital distribution platform, or any other retailer. So, and the discussion went on. I mean, that's a story in its own right that we could talk about. But this idea that freemium games, Chashi, you play Candy Crush. You guys are playing Avengers Alliance. Uh, mm-hmm. I've seen I've seen some iPhone on I, I, iTunes purchases by my wife on Candy Crush and topped out, tapped mm-hmm. out respectively. We know about the Smurfberry debacles. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so think about like back in the arcade. How much money did you sink into that Ninja Turtles arcade game, that Simpsons arcade game? I'm naming the ones I did. Uh, the Mario Brothers arcade game, whatever. X Men: Children of the Atom. <laughs> the, the, the the Rolling Thunder game, the Paper Boys, the Road Blasters, uh, the Street Fighter, the movie game. Yes, that was in my bowling alley. Um, <laughs> what you know? So there's not that thing that'll kind of nickel and dime you like that, mm-hmm. literally, uh, except for these freemium games, and obviously. It's bailing out Electronic Arts from the sound of things. Mm-hmm. They, these games that cost them a lot less to make, they put out free. You know, you know, tapped out. I don't know. I, I know a ton of people addicted to tapped out right now. Um, other than those server debacles early in that lifespan, this kind of seems to be the new arcade that we're all putting bits and bits of money and it's all adding up on the back end. Mm-hmm. So is this the new arcade in like that financial sense? Is what I'm thinking, Bobby. What do you think? 
it's not the new arcade in the traditional sense of no. putting quarters in. It's just they're making money and it's working, and they're making money off of gamers that want to continue. Like basically, you're not paying for continues unless you're playing like Candy Crush or something like that. Yeah, you're paying for for things you want in the game. Like um, you buy donuts in The Simpsons so you can afford to get unlock Professor Frank and his laboratory and Duffman and all those other ones. Marvel Avengers, you can buy ISO eight and just, you know, it's it's it, it's a, it's a smart business decision mm-hmm. on, on on the part of they're free games, but they're they're, they're gaining money and momentum by getting you to like like little ads and stuff that say like, hey, why don't you just buy some more of this and you know, so. Riz, but, go ahead, Riz. I this is difficult because yes, you can. You can buy those game, buy little little things for that game, but it's still not considered to me as an arcade game because I'm not going to spend that money to better off the get better off my experience with the game mm-hmm. if the game is well, that satisfying to me. Again, I want to I'm, I want to reiterate. I, I I don't think about the way you think about arcade games. Think about the way the publisher thinks about arcade games. A steady oh, they're making flow a of money. They're I mean, we're talking about season passes. That's the way to get more money out of you. Because mm-hmm. yeah. it used to be, I go and buy Madden one time a year, and you, you don't see more money from me until the next Madden comes out. Say, if you're in that kind of thing. I paid for Call of Duty. That's it until the next Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed. Or I bought this game. It's one hit each time versus... Mm-hmm. Couple bucks here, couple bucks here, couple bucks here. That's the flow of the money you're getting to play games. This is what, but, just like back in the arcade. The question was but, phased wrong. It was because yeah. if because what what I'm looking at is what I want to play, and that's the, pretty much what the question is saying. Mm-hmm. Is what would how are you in the are you do you feel that it's more an arcade than the arcade was. What? I think because it's still playable if you don't pay that game, if you don't pay the company to play that game mm-hmm. over and over again like the arcade is, it's not physically an arcade game. It's, it's, it's an arcade-style game for those who want to play an arcade-style game, who want to better their game. We want to like have Doctor Fink or or Deadpool or ISO eights or whatever. Mm-hmm. But to me, I just want to play a game, mm-hmm. and it's it's not costing me anything to play a game. So you're and, a freemium leech. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. Exactly. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. No, no, it isn't, and, and the system's built on that idea, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, Chachi, what do you think? Uh, it, the question was phased wrong. Okay, other than my wrong. inability to ask a question, what do you think? <laughs> well, no, it, you, you're looking at it the wrong way. It, 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 with the way you're asking it... We should have said, like, the new arcade. <laughs> no, it, it's... it's <laughs> the, the way the question should have been asked is, is this the next, or the, the logical evolution of the arcade? Okay. Which, the answer is yes. Okay. No, this uh, the way it was phased. It makes it debatable. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> the question. The question. What? That's the point. The, the question. The question's not debatable, though. Yes, it is the next logical evolution of the arcade. Uh, uh, video game companies since the beginning of video games have been looking at ways to get little bits of money out for you, uh, on top of already buying the game. That that's the point of the arcade. Mm-hmm. Uh, these companies are getting little bits of money off of you uh, by releasing these games. So yes, it, it, freemium games are the the evolution of arcade games. But you're still playing the game even though it's free. Riz, just because you don't, you don't buy things in freemium games but, doesn't mean the rest of the planet doesn't buy things in freemium the, the games. But is, there are other people who do that. There are. There are, definitely. But but obviously, it's not everybody because they're getting – at least it's enough people to be very significant if, if, if EA is making this the biggest margin out of anything they do. And we know how much stuff EA does. So that trickle is, is becoming way more than a trickle. Uh, as far as that goes, 
So I, I think that's the really interesting parts there. And I think that's going to shape the kind of games that come out. You're going to see, now you're going to see a, I want to say focus less on the Maddens and focus more on the Peggles, you know, mm -hmm. or, or whatever, you know, that, the tapped outs and stuff. You're going to see a big glut of those. Uh, and maybe that bubble will burst too. Just like, you know, what happened with Zynga, you know, uh, uh, Zynga, you know, uh, 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 with Farmville and everything, uh, pioneered that idea yeah. and, and they're not doing well but EA is kicking ass mm -hmm. so maybe that's a logical mm -hmm. move yeah so. all right I think that's going to do it for us this week um, you can follow us on at insert coin TV um, you can go to the website and uh, see the articles that are up on insert coin to begin dot com um, our challenge this week is Power Rangers the movie, Riz, because he met yes. Billy the, the Blue Ranger. What? This you met week, Billy yeah, the Blue Ranger? <laughs> David Yost? Yeah. David Yost. Oh, man. Are we talking about like the Super Nintendo version or? Um, I, 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 I any think, version you can get your hands on. Is there, I think what was Genesis it has it on uh, the virtual console thing. Okay. So if so, I'm yeah, playing you, any, with my Any version blaster. you can find. <laughs> Um, what the right. hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so that's right. uh, so there you go. The Power Rangers movie. You want to kind of uh, I I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a what you're looking for. Is this now? This is the side scroller as well, or not the? Um, yeah, this is like a side scroller beat 'em up, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but yeah. but there's also a there's fighting also game a too. fighting game in it. In it, so you yeah, can so so you can play as. Uh, the Megazord and fight Golgar and all the cool people from the Power Rangers, the movie. Yeah. Oh, you get to actually fight as them as the kids and everything. And mm -hmm. well, each level starts, if I remember correctly, each level starts with you out of suit. Okay. And then at a point in the level, you morph. Mm -hmm. And if you yeah. just saw that, Zach did just blow up a uh, oh no a gigantic building. I love the digitized pictures for the kids. That's awesome. All right. Well, that's oh. going to do it for us. And uh, game over. That'll buy some time. <laughs> Good. Quick, do a podcast before it comes back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's like watching porn. <laughs> Hurry up before the parents get home. Oh no, the VCR or the tape stuck in the VCR. <laughs> hide, hide, the, hide the loop, Bobby. <laughs> all right. Uh, we got to right. Calling Dick Tracy, calling Dick Tracy. Oh wait, it's Let's Play. Oh, that was terrible. Okay, I'll start over. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was trying wow. to work the challenge in. Hey. I couldn't do it. He shot himself down. Something I didn't play this week. <laughs> that was terrible. Wow, wow, wow. That was awful. Is, it does remind me I forgot to play What the now. hell was that? He uh, shot hey, why don't we make a reference from the 30s? Everybody will get it. <laughs> oh, wow. Do it, oh, do it. That face. was awful. Do, okay, now do it serious. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to not do that again. <laughs> Let's never speak of this again. Kimmy, this, <clears throat> this is going after the credits. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Riz. <laughs> I got the giggles now. <laughs> All right. Ah, ready? Welcome, everybody, to Let's Play. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Go with it. Keep keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep no. going, Bobby. No, start over again. Oh, <laughs> oh 21 seconds. No, let's... Hmm. New record. Uh, um, it's a new no, record. I'm not going to be. Okay. Do it. Do it. No. Oh, no. All right, I'm on a podcast. I can't communicate. <laughs> tell, me, tell me you're in an invisible studio. Oh, I'm going to have the giggles tonight. The F stands, <laughs> the F stands for mulligan.
Uh, oh, let me get this mouse off of your uh, face. Oh, I know that's my mouse. Okay, never mind. Uh, Alright. I, look cute. I don't know what's going on anymore. Nope. I don't either. Hey, Bobby. What? Ask him for the meatloaf. Oh, Start no. the show.